Hello beautiful people and welcome! Today I'm going to show you how I transform this look into this easy, simple, smoky eye. I rarely ever do my makeup up anymore. Does that make sense? Do my makeup up? That doesn't make sense, girl. Okay. I don't typically do dramatic looks anymore. I've gotten so used to the just natural, the simple vibe and it's beautiful but sometimes it's kind of nice to have something in your back pocket you can just whip out and be like bam that's what i'm gonna show you guys today let's get it started today was a rough day i've been filming and doing different things and i've been touching my face i've had this makeup on all day and i don't really want to start over we're gonna try to fix this as best way as we can i'm gonna go in with charlotte tilbury flawless filter i'm just putting this on the back of my hand i'm in 5.5 tan and i'm gonna go ahead and put this on my skin this way. Let's go ahead and take my favorite Pro Foundation Sephora 64 brush and we're just going to blend that out. This is going to give me more of an even complexion all over because like I said, it was super, super splotchy. Let's have a moment for the brows. They did really good today. I used just my Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Milk Brow. It's the brow sculpting brush gel stuff. I can't remember what it's called, but that. I'll link it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some concealer. Now I'm going to use my new favorite concealer lately, the Say Concealer. It's like a hydrating concealer. I used it in my last video. It's really, really good. I'm in the color HB3 and I'm going to go ahead and just lightly apply this. I'm not going to do full face quite yet. I have found that what helps reduce transfer of eyeshadow is having a base underneath the eye first. I know that seems kind of backwards because most makeup artists do opposite. But that's not what I found to be helpful. I found that this way it helps with transfer. Let's take the Sephora Pro Concealer 57 brush and we're gonna blend this out underneath the eye. What I like to do first for any kind of smoky eye look, I'm gonna go ahead and take black eyeliner and put it on my waterline. I'm obsessed with this eyeliner for your waterline. It is such a nice precision pen. It just looks so good. I love it. This on the waterline. This is a key to a really pretty smoky eye. Oh my gosh, I haven't done this in so long. It's tickling my eyes. Wow, I haven't done this in forever. It actually feels like the first time I'm ever putting eyeliner there. Wow. Next step that you're going to do is I'm going to actually take that same eyeliner because we're going to make it easy and we're going to just draw a messy line on top of the eyelid. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Don't worry. Just draw a line. The messier, the better. It's fine. We're going to take a brush and we're going to blend this top line out. If you have a brush like this or any brush that you don't mind getting uh, kind of sticky from eyeliner, use it. Synthetic brushes do really well with this kind of application, but if you don't have a synthetic brush, any nice brush that you don't mind getting like sticky will work. But just going to go ahead and blend it blend it out in this motion. I'm just going to blend this out as much as I can so that there's not a sharp line, okay? That's the goal in blending this out. Blend, 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 blend. If you need to get the brush wet to help make it faster, you can do that. I don't want to gross you out, but I would totally like use my tongue. If you don't want to be gross like that, use some setting spray. Don't be afraid to get it up there. That part of the smoky eye is done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Makeup Revolution palette. It is called the Velvet Rose palette. It's not very aesthetic looking. My palettes never usually are because we use them. <laughs> this is a really good palette. I picked this up from Target. It has amazing colors, really good pigment. I'm going to use the black that is in this palette here and I'm going to take a MAC 165 brush. It's a small shader brush and I'm going to go ahead and take that powder and we're going to go under underneath that eye and blend. I'm not going to go too far in there. Other eye. Okay. I'm going to take my absolute favorite MAC 224 blending brush. If you need a blending brush, invest in this MAC blending brush. It is an OG brush. I think that's what it's still called. Mind you, I bought this brush probably like 10 years ago. It's 224 and it is my favorite, favorite blending brush. It is so good. I'm going to add some brown into this look because I really want to bring out the color of my naturally brown eyes. When you play with brown um, or greens or even blues, it really helps pronounce your brown eyes. So if you have naturally brown eyes, this is going to be amazing for you. We're going to take the darkest brown in this Makeup Revolution palette right here, and we're going to go ahead and take that blending brush and we're going to blend out. Just really easy blending the entire eye out. We're just doing small circular motions while we're doing that. Go ahead with the other eye 
don't be afraid. Smoky eyes are so fun because they can be super messy and you can get away with it because like it's a smoky eye. I'm gonna take that same small shader brush, the 165S brush, and I'm gonna take that same brown color and we're gonna also work that underneath here to kind of balance out the look and where I kind of left it empty in here, I'm gonna fill that in. When in doubt, blend it out. Whenever you feel like, oh, I don't think the makeup look is right, just, just take your time and blend it and then it will be. I'm going to take the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the color Vivid. I'm gonna go ahead and put that very lightly on top of the lid and I'm using the MAC 164 brush to do this. You can also use your fingers, which I'm actually gonna try that right now because I kind of want to see how that, yeah, okay. Don't use the brush, use your fingers. This is nice. Try to focus in the middle of the eye look and up so it kind of blends all together. I'm gonna use the Bad Gal Bang Mascara to kind of push up these eyelashes and I'm gonna really focus on the tips because I already have mascara on and then I'm really gonna add some drama down on the bottom because that's so fun to do. I went back and forth about adding a line to this look. Typically, whenever I am doing any kind of glamorous look, I always finish it off with liner. Um, but I don't know. I feel like this looks really pretty and it also makes the look a lot more simple to do. Now that we have the eye makeup done, let's go ahead and finish the rest of this makeup look. Now we're going to go ahead and go back over with concealer, mainly to just clean up and sharpen up this line here. I'm going to go ahead and take that Say concealer again. And now we're going to do a full concealer of the face because I didn't get to do that. This is really going to help sharpen everything up and unify the whole look together. Put that here, here. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush from BH Cosmetics. I'm gonna go ahead and put that up there. All about cleaning it up. Now we're gonna take that flat shader brush and we're going to kind of draw a nice like... My brain just like decided to stop working. I'm sorry, wait. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing, but that's what I'm doing. <laughs> you can see it, right? You can see it. Taking my beauty blender and just making sure I blend that all out. This is just cleaning it up. It just looks so good when it's cleaned. Organized chaos. <laughs> Perfect. Whenever I'm doing any kind of glamorous look, I love to do powdered bronzer. I feel like it's much more of a luxurious look. I'm gonna use the Pearl. Um, I think this is just their powder. The color of this is in Core 4 Dark. I'm gonna use the BH Cosmetics 124 brush to kind of give me a really nice bronze here. Temples, fishy face, light contour on the nose. We're gonna take the Sephora 64 brush and blend this out. I'm do an all over blend just for the sake of blending. We're getting closer, we're almost done. This blush from MAC has a choke hold on me right now. I don't know why, but it just does. So we're gonna use the MAC Like Me, Love Me Mineralized Blush that I used in the last video. I'm just obsessed with this color right now. I don't know why, it speaks to me. This is the 125 BH Cosmetics brush. And I'm gonna lightly apply this on the apples of my cheeks, working upward. Very mauve -y. That's what I feel like when I see it. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna add some highlighter because I love to finish off any glam look with highlighter. We're gonna use the Sayi highlighter in, it's called the High Glow, excuse me, in Ref Rose. I really, really like it. It's, it's stunning. It can be a little much, so you have to apply just a little, but very, very nice highlighter. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out with my fingers. It's so blendable. Last but not least, I'm gonna use some lipstick. This lip that I'm gonna use is from Hourglass, and it's in the color Delilah. I think this is a really good... Mm. Nope. Take that back. I grabbed the wrong color. Hold on. This is the color Oasis from Hourglass. We're going for nude, like a nudish kind of lit. I like it though, because it reminds me of how I used to do my makeup years ago. We're done! Yay! really happy with how it turned out. I know I did some extra steps here and there, but I hope you guys got the gist of the simple and basic eye makeup. I really resisted the urge to pop lashes on, guys. But I wanted to make this simple for you. If you want to pop lashes on, do it, girl. Do it. That will really just bring it to next level. And if you wanted to pop an eyeliner there too, like, whew. You do what you do, but I just gave you the simple recipe. Let me know what you think. Excited to hear your thoughts and to see if this was easy enough for you to be able to master yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps my channel out, especially if you wanna see more videos like this. Definitely send me requests because I am taking them. This video was a request and I was like, 
we're gonna do it. Thank you again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.